welcome back everyone so having issues with the wi-fi on windows is a very common problem and one of the issues is can't connect to this network that can come on both windows 10 and windows 11. so in this video i will be sharing the best solution to fix this wi-fi problem and i'm very sure that if you do not skip any part then by the end of this video your problem will be surely fixed so without any delay let's quickly get started And before starting guys make sure that if this video help you out then please hit the like subscribe as it will not cost you anything but it will surely help my channel to bring more valuable videos for you you can also join my membership where you can live chat with me to fix any of your pc and laptop problem now before proceeding with the troubleshooting guys i would recommend you that kindly go ahead and restart the computer because many times a simple restart can fix many kind of wi-fi and audio and many other windows problem so try the restart but in case if the restart doesn't work then again you have to bring up the wi-fi network right click on the wi-fi name then you have to click on forget once done again you have to click on connect and this time you have to again enter the password of your wi-fi so make sure that you type the right password you can view your password key by just clicking on this i icon on the right hand side click on it hold it and make sure that you have entered the right password once done then you can click on next bingo so now you can see that i'm able to connect and my wi-fi problem has been fixed so this is the basic troubleshooting that first you can try but in case if this also doesn't work for you then what you have to do on the very right hand side you will find this i icon of properties you will have to click on it the wi-fi properties box will be up now here you have to scroll down to the top and make sure the network profile type has been selected to public network in case if it's already selected to public network then you can also try switching to private network again try to connect to your wi-fi and see that if the problem has been fixed or not if not again switch to public network then close it now click on your windows search type cmd right click on the command prompt click run as admin click on yes the black window will be up now here we have to run few network command and all these command you will be getting in the description so you can copy them one by one and run in the command prompt so the first command will be netsh space int space ip space reset space reset log dot txt once you type it hit the enter key once done now type the next command that is netsh space winsock space reset again hit the enter key and the last command will be ipconfig space forward slash flush dns now once all these commands are completed again go ahead and restart the computer and check back if your wi-fi problem has been fixed or not so till now after applying all these solution i am very sure many of you will find the solution but if you still have the issues next what you have to do right click on the windows icon then you will have to click on device manager in the device manager you have to look for network adapter double click on it then you have to look for the wi-fi adapter once you get it make a right click on it click on update driver click search automatically for drivers if the update are available kindly go ahead and update it if not then right click on it again click on disable device click on yes once it disable wait for a few second again right click on it and choose enable device and once it get enabled again you can check back if the wi-fi is working or not in case still if you have the issue then what else you can do right click on the wi-fi adapter click on properties from the top menu option you have to click on power management and make sure this allow the computer to turn off this device has been unchecked then click on ok again right click on wi-fi adapter click on properties this time you have to click on driver from the top menu option now here many of you will find the rollback driver option highlighted so if you find this option highlighted then you can click on rollback driver sometimes the updated network adapter doesn't work properly so you can roll back to the previous version of the wi-fi adapter driver but if it's not been highlighted then that's okay then you can click on okay and then you can close it and now the next thing that you can try to fix this Wi-Fi problem is doing the network reset. So click on your Windows search, type network reset. In the suggestion, you will be getting network reset. Click on it. 
again click on reset now click on yes and this time it will be resetting the network and then probably it will ask you to restart the computer then you have to go ahead and restart it in case if this also doesn't work the next what you can do you also need to make sure that your windows is up to date so right click on windows icon then you have to click on settings now here from the left hand menu option you have to click on windows update and you can see that i have a lot of update available so what you have to do you need to click on check for update and if there is any kind of update go ahead and update all the pending update available on your computer once updated you can go ahead again and restart the computer then you can check back i'm very sure that after applying all this solution your problem will be surely fixed now i believe after applying all this solution you will be surely getting rid of this problem but still if you don't find the solution then what you have to do you need to go with the power flush now power flush is basically the power drain where we will be deleting and removing all kind of static on the computer motherboard so it's very simple what you have to do if you are on a desktop then shut down your computer remove the power cable remove the vga cable remove all kind of external devices connect to your computer once removed you need to press and hold the power button for 30 second once done again reconnect all the cable like power and all the devices and then turn on the computer back again and if you are on a laptop you have to do the same if you have a laptop with a removable battery then remove the battery unplug the charger unplug all kind of external devices press and hold the power button for 30 seconds once done connect your battery connect the charger and turn on the computer and check back if the problem has been fixed or not so these are the best and the effective solution guys and it will surely help you to get rid of this wi-fi problem and even many other wi-fi related issues and that's all guys for today hopefully you found this video helpful if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye